How did this bomb end the Gulf War? After Iraq invaded Kuwait in August of 1990 during Operation Desert Storm, the US Air Force faced an unprecedented challenge, destroying heavily fortified concrete bunkers buried 50 feet underground. These bunkers housed key Iraqi intelligence and command personnel, making them critical targets. However, existing weapons were ineffective against such formidable structures. The US military swiftly developed a groundbreaking solution. In under four weeks, they created the GBU-28 Bunker Buster, a laser-guided penetrator missile. In tests, the weapon exhibited remarkable capabilities, punching through over 22 feet of reinforced concrete. On February 27, 1991, during the air campaign, two F-111 fighters dropped the GBU-28 on a suspected command and control bunker. Although the first drop missed, the second hit its mark, leading to smoke pouring from the bunker's vents. It was evident that the GBU-28 had successfully breached the previously impenetrable bunkers. This achievement was a turning point, and it is believed that Saddam Hussein's decision to surrender was influenced by it.